Yeah, uh, Jesus, of course, was a Jew. There's no question about it. And in fact, uh, he was actually a disciple of some of the great rabbis of the Mishnah. Uh, there are really uh, several problems uh, with Jesus as Messiah. Uh, number one uh, is the fact that to the extent that either Jesus or maybe Paul after Jesus, that's kind of an open question, called for the abrogation of the commandments of the Torah by basically saying that God replaced the covenant with Israel with a new covenant based on faith in uh, Jesus. Uh, that is a violation of the fundamental idea that the Torah is eternal and the Torah will never be changed. So consequently, any religion, any religion that claims that the Sinaitic revelation has been superseded is by definition not acceptable to Judaism. That is point number one. And this is true even if Jesus is simply a Messiah figure as opposed to a divinity. Now, point number two is, and again, I'm, I'm not going to address the problem of whether this was Jesus' claim or a claim that was made later. But to the extent that Jesus is elevated not only as a Messiah, but is considered to actually be divine, to be God, then obviously any belief that says that God assumes a human form or a human body is treated as idolatry and a violation of the fundamental belief in the nature of God. So that would be a second reason that is unacceptable.